the JAMA Network. Peter Hildebrand's replacement heart valve is leaking. The valve is sitting here and the fluid is going below it. My energy level went way down and especially my breathing. I could do very little physical activity without running out of gas. Peter is moments away from undergoing an alternative procedure to replace his failed valve. We call the procedure valve in valve. It's a less invasive procedure. Dr. Danny DeVere from St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver, Canada and co-authors reported the outcomes of 459 patients who underwent the valve in valve procedure at 55 centers around the world. This involves attaching the new valve to a catheter which travels up an artery. The catheter is positioned inside the failed valve, the device is inflated and the new valve replaces the failed one. This procedure was done in patients who were not good candidates for repeat surgery, either due to their their advanced age or other medical issues. In this very high risk group of patients, the survival within one year was very good. It was 83%. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The 30 day death rate was 7%. The rate of having stroke within one month was less than 2%. Right now I feel I think pretty good. In the patients that survived the procedure, 93% felt very well. Remember how Peter's valve was leaking before the procedure? Now it's not. We see that there is almost no leakage below that valve. This is a viable alternative for repeating surgery because of failure of these devices. Four hours after the procedure, Peter is off oxygen and feeling much stronger. How's my handshake? Oh. Strong? Stronger than mine? <laughs> wow. Excellent. Thank you so much. Your breathing is better? Very much better. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.